Hi everyone, so welcome to another class of SAP MM as for HANA. So in the last class, we have seen the master data means we have started the master data. First, we have seen the material master, right? In the material master, we have seen how we can configure the material master, how we can create the material master, what are the different uh, like departments are there. So everything we have seen for the material master data so if you have not seen that class you can go to the s4 hana playlist or uh, hana mm playlist i believe one of it is there okay either s4 hana playlist or s4 hana mm is there okay just go to the playlist uh, or i will be adding those videos in the info button you can just check in the info button and you can find out those classes so we have completed the material master after the material master we will be having the vendor master data as you have whoever already have trained in ECC system so they know that after the material master we will be needing the vendor master to complete a purchasing process or procurement process okay so vendor is basically our supplier who will be supplying our materials to us right so this vendor master in s4 hana it is migrated or it is the concept is migrated to the business partner okay so let us understand this business partner and uh, later on we will be understanding the concept of uh, like supplier master in the supplier um, master data in the business partner okay so what is business partner or what's new in the S4 HANA? So this is a new part or we can, we can say this is a new concept introduced in the S4 HANA part. Okay. So in the ECC version, okay, or the ERP central component version, we are using the mostly we will be for the purchasing side we will be using the vendor master and for the sales perspective if we are having a sales organization or we are selling something so we will be having a customer master concept right so in s4 hana this is combined together and both of them are called as a business partner so business partner will be a combination of or we can say it is together business like it is a vendor master and customer master vendor master and customer master both are included in the business partner okay vendor master or supplier master or customer master they all are included in the business partner so the previous t codes which you are using to create a vendor master right let's understand the vendor master so you are using MK01, MK02, MK03 for the purchasing side. You are using the XK01, XK02, XK03 for like uh, centrally you want to create any kind of uh, vendor master. You want to uh, change any vendor master. Or you want to view any vendor master. These are the T codes you are using. Similarly with accounting side, you can use the FK01, FK02, FK03. Similar kind of T codes you are using so all these t codes are eliminated in the s4 hana rather we will be using the bp transaction here so in the s4 hana if you are entering the t code of mk01 fk01 or xk01 it will navigate you to the screen of business partner and it will give you an information that the older transaction are not in used rather we are moving to the bp transaction okay so this is the T code wise changes are there so older T codes will not be available in the S4 HANA you will be whenever you are going to view any um, let's say business partner or need to create any business partner you have to go to the transaction called BP okay BP is the T code where you can go inside the business partner and you can configure you can uh, configure means you can create a business partner you can view business partner everything you can be you will be doing inside the BPT code okay so now why this has been introduced okay okay we'll go to that in a later phase so first let's understand what is there and why it is there okay so first this is the thing 
your business partner will be a combination of vendor master and customer master and the data will be centrally loaded means the customer of a vendor will be loaded at a same place before in ECC version we are creating uh, customers in XT01 we will be creating the customer somewhere we will be creating the vendor somewhere so we will be maintaining uh, like separate separate data we, uh, let's say uh, we need the vendor as a customer also then we have to create them as a customer so there are a lot of things where they're in the ECC version okay Now let's understand what is a business partner. So as we have mentioned, so business partner, it is a master data that will consolidate the customer and the vendor information in a single unit. Okay, single entity, it will consolidate it. And by this approach, it will simplify the data management and enhance the flexibility. Let's say data will be stored in one place so that you can be used. Means data, uh, let's say, data duplication or um, let's say data redundancy will be less okay so you will be not storing the same data in multiple tables rather you are storing all the data in a single table okay means in one place you will be storing the data okay so this is the business partner concept that is introduced in the s4 hana okay now, what are the key features of the business partner? Why we are using the business partner? So, if we say about the data storage section, so in the S4 HANA, business partner will consolidate the customer and vendor data. So, it will be stored in one place. Rather, in the ECC system, vendor and customer data are stored in a separately in different master data records. So, similar data, let's say I am using the same vendor as a customer. So, same thing I will be storing in two places at a vendor side also at a customer side also. But here in the S4 HANA, I will be storing all the data in a single point or I can, I can say a single side I can maintain the data or one place I can maintain both of the data. Okay. Now, next one is role based approach. Okay. So now here, if you are storing all these things to, let's say, if you are creating a master data, you are storing all the data in one place, then here we are having a role. Okay, so role we can give the master data as a, let's say, we can give the role as a customer or we can give a uh, role as vendor also. Okay, so single entity can be used for multiple business functions. Okay okay so next one we can say for the data governance let's say if we are removing some of the data or we are combining some of the data so there will be less complexity right there will be less complexity will be there and there will be less uh, let's say process will be streamlined and the process will be shorthand right so they, they will be uh, uh, they, they 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 can be um, gathered together and it will be a process will be shorter process like you are going to create two times like once for vendor once for customer you are creating but right now you can create one master data you can assign the role of customer and vendor also or supplier also you can give that okay now if the data will be stored in a single place you are not storing the data in multiple places now if you are fetching some of the report or extracting some of the report then it will be easy for you to extract the report it will be faster than the previous approach i believe right so this is the key features why you are we are using the business partner okay so this is also the same thing as of your why we are using the s4 hana uh, or why we are using the business partner in S4 HANA, what is the functionality or what is the benefits of that one, okay? Now, let's understand the configuration of business partner in S4 HANA. So, how we can configure the business partner. So, as there is some concept has been changes, uh, the concept has been changed. So, there will be new concept will be added in the business partner. So, we need to understand the business partner. We need to understand the functionality. We need to understand what are the changes are there. What are the additions are there. Okay. So, that it will be helpful for you while you are working in the S4 HANA system or you are going to give an interview in the S4 HANA system. Okay. S4 HANA system means whenever you are going to the 
interview they will be asking you about the s4 hana in the s4 hana what are the changes are there what is the business partner functionality what are the changes are there what are the things are there they might ask you in any aspect of that so you need to understand we need to understand what are the changes are there what are the things we need to understand okay so now while we are configuring first thing as we have mentioned that the master data of supplier and customer will be maintained as a business partner master data so both of the things will be combined as a business partner okay now whenever you are creating a business partner you have to select a business partner category this was not there in the ecc version this is new addition in the as for hana version you have to add or you have to select a business category okay so what are the business category there are three types of business categories are there one is a person so you can assign one business partner as a person also person means let's say for the hr module there will be some employees will be there so employee master data before we are having the employee master data so same employee master data we can use it as a business partner also so employees are also a business partner for the companies right now so you can add a person as a business partner also second thing you can add a group as a business partner also let's say there is a group uh, let's say you are having some investor group or a group of hairs or uh, something like some group of people are there so you can create a business partner as a group also okay so next thing an organization so organization is basically like let's say company or group of companies will be there this might be they might be let's say uh, supplier will be there or they might be a customer might be there so organization when you are creating a organization as a business partner so you can create it as a partner category so these are three types of partner category these questions are getting asked in the uh, interview also this will be asked in the your certification exam also whenever you are trying to configure the bp or business partner there also you will be needing this information okay so try to uh, understand this concept this will be very much important or this will be very much uh, required for the configuration of business partner okay now let's understand the what are the kinds of master data or data division where we are storing the data for the business partner okay so business partner basically this is for our supplier master data okay business partner business partner as the supplier master okay so supplier master will be having the data first one will be general data so it is the similar kind of thing to the ecc version so there also we are having three pages we are having right so first whenever you are entering the vendor number purchasing organization whenever you are entering that thing then you will be going to the next phase that next phase that is your address details bank details will be there right so that all that is the general data so general data will be stored at the client level this is the same to the ecc version okay uh, so whenever we are going to the screen then we can change we, we can see whatever the changes are there if something has been added or not we will be looking into it okay so first thing will be the general data it will be stored at the client level basically in the general data the let's say the supplier master number will be there there will be the address will be there and uh, any kind of let's say address or any kind of bank details are there these will be stored in the general data section okay so next one will be the accounting data so accounting data is basically your company code data okay all finance related data will be stored in the company code side so in the company code side what are the things are there basically the reconciliation account will be there and withholding taxes will be there right so this information we have already seen in the company code data or accounting data section in the ecc version also so same thing is there okay now next one is purchasing data so purchasing data i believe you know in the purchasing data screen whatever things are there so we will be having the uh, let's say currency type will be having the in quote terms we will be having the uh, let's say a vendor schema we will be having the uh, 
let's say uh, the GR indicators will be having GR based uh, invoice verification or uh, let's say the ERS indicator automatic PO indicator so these are the purchasing side data will be there and this will be stored in the purchasing organization label okay so these are basically three types of data that will be stored in the three different places or three different tables okay one is a general data it will be stored at the client level one is a company code data it will be stored at the company code level third one is a purchasing data it will be stored in the purchasing organization level okay now the steps for the configuration of business partner so how you can configure the business partner so first you have to create number range okay so there are two number range concepts are there in the ECC version we are only having one number range that we are assigning to the vendor account group right we are assign we are creating a number range we are assigning that to the vendor account group right so here we are having the vendor account group also we will be having one number range and also one number range for the BP function okay so supplier account group or we, we can say this as a let's say BP number range okay there will be two number ranges will be there B, one is a BP number ranges one is a vendor account number ranges so both of the things you can take it as a single number range means similar in both of the cases or you can take different different let's say your vendor number range will be different and your business partner number range will be different might be as per your scenario as per your requirement you can take that so in the configuration whenever we are we will be starting the configuration then we will be looking into that how we can take it as a single number or how we can take as different different number okay now next one is you have to create the you have to assign the BP account group to the vendor account group okay so mostly this will be these are the common five or six steps are there how you can configure the business partner so we will be looking into that so that's all for today we will be connecting again on the next class and we will be starting the configuration of business partner and we will be looking into it how we can create the number ranges how we can assign the multi uh, different number ranges or how we can combine the number ranges all of the things we will be look into the we will be looking into it in the next class so till then bye bye and take care and keep learning